Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Dirk Link Mega Park. In the last episode, I gave the park a new entrance. I fixed some supports on Banana Blast, the accelerator coaster. And on this Eurofighter coaster, I changed the layout a little bit and I changed the merged BM Twisted Track into Limb Lines Coaster Track. For this episode, uh, I want to focus on this zoo area over here. Now, over here we have several rides. Um, I want to focus first on this uh, green coaster. This is a triple launch coaster called Tricera Rush. And yeah, it's the there are several things that I want to do in this ride. So just like on the Eurofighter, uh, I want to change this BNM track for Limb Lines Coaster track. Um, this zero G roll over the station. Uh, right, the Limb Lines Coaster track has really nice zero G roll pieces. So I actually want to use those to make a nice uh, inversion over the station. And that will also make this uh, drop over here uh, and over here a little bit more smooth. And here's some more track that, uh, that I want to change. Um, I also wanted to change the landscaping a bit, change the foliage a bit. Uh, basically I wanted this area to have some more warm colors. So uh, yeah, that's uh, something I'm going to do. Uh, another thing which I really don't like about this coaster is its transfer track. I think it looks hideous. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to change these brakes for a uh, um, yeah, boosted track. So it uh, shows these fins, these uh, magnetic uh, fins. And over here, um, yeah, this is where the new transfer track will be. It'll be a bit shorter. And I think it makes perfect sense for the transfer track to be at the turntable. Because, uh, yeah, the coaster already has to change tracks here. So the transfer track here um, would make it very easy to do so. Since the turntable is already in place. Now, you may notice that uh, there's not too many guests in the park. I actually got rid of quite a few guests. And... Uh, yeah, I also closed the park so not any more guests come in. Something which I noticed is that uh, if when I record the gameplay actions using the in-game recording function and then play them back, uh, yeah, with 7000 guests in the park, the game will run really sluggish. Um, so yeah, that uh, makes the recording process uh, pretty painful because I have to play everything back and record everything while I record the screen while I do that. And if the game runs really slow while I do that, it takes very long, which is annoying. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to change work on this uh, coaster now. Um, I think I did enough talking. Let's uh, work on it. Alright, Tricera Rush has gotten an upgrade. Now here you can see the new uh, Limb Lines Coaster track. I think it uh, works pretty well here. Uh, I definitely uh, prefer the way this merges with the Giga Coaster track uh, rather than the BM Twisted track. Now I also changed the layout of the ride a little bit here. Uh, this uh, drop is a little bit more drawn out. Over here we now have the zero G roll over the station using these zero G roll pieces. Now the trains don't actually have sprites for this uh, inversion, but uh, I do prefer the way the track looks. 
So uh, yeah, that's why I chose to use this track. It looks a little bit wonky as the train passes through here, but uh, the track layout, uh, I think, makes it uh, worth using these track pieces. You can see the train pass through it. <laughs> looks a little bit silly, but uh, I think it's uh, uh, acceptable. And I used the same uh, large zero zero piece over here for this dive loop. And yeah, I uh, really prefer the way this looks rather than uh, the way it used to look with this uh, barrel roll here. Oh, also have a new brake run using these uh, booster fins. And uh, I also made the transfer track over here on the other end of the turntable, which also got, gave some uh, extra pieces here, just to make it look a little bit more uh, complete. <laughs> Alright, uh, next ride I want to focus on is this uh, go-kart ride. Now, um, this go-kart ride can now, now only have uh, 10 vehicles, which I think is a little bit on the low side. Now, there's not many guests in the park right now, um, but when there are a lot of guests, uh, well, the queue here will get very long, guests will be complaining. And because this ride is a lift, um, yeah, for some reason, it takes really long for the cards to get started. Um, that behavior disappears when I change the ride into a go-kart again. Yeah, I don't know uh, why this happens, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, something uh, something weird when you change it to the lift ride type. So I'm going to change this ride back to a go-kart. Now, when I do that, the original track pieces uh, will become visible again. So I'll have to make those invisible again. So that's what I'm going to do. And the other thing um, that I'm going to do is uh, this last station piece here at the end. I will copy it to the uh, to over here. And that will basically extend the station. And that will allow me to have more go-kart vehicles. So I think uh, 20 vehicles uh, should definitely be enough. Now, uh, when I change the ride back to a go-kart, uh, it will also no longer leave uh, without any guests in the vehicles. So that's probably also uh, a good thing. Anyway, time to uh, change the ride. Alright, this uh, go-kart ride should no longer have uh, very long queues since it now has double the capacity and it will wait less long before allowing the gas to actually drive. So uh, yeah, this uh, should be a huge improvement for a go-kart ride. So later when we open the park again and we have uh, a lot of guests again, then uh, we should see this ride uh, uh, perform a lot better. Now, last thing I'm going to do for this go-kart ride is just quickly add a few of flowers uh, around it. Now, something which I love using in uh, OpenRC2 is these uh, invisible gardens. Basically it's the normal gardens but with the invisible color used for the flowers and that will just sh uh, let you show the green part and that works great uh, as uh, some kind of grass and it uh, mixes really well with these uh, normal flowers. So yeah, definitely a really a nice trick that, uh, that I like using uh, which uh, has been made possible in a recent development of uh, OpenRST2. Alright, the next ride that I want to uh, improve a little bit is this uh, launch coaster called Stampede. Now it flies over the hill here, I think uh, we can do with a little bit less uh, speed for the, for the launch. Uh, some other things that I, I want to change, actually I can already change the speed a little bit now. Um, let's also give it, uh, make the trains a little bit longer. Um, let's do seven cars per train, and let's do 130 kilometers per hour. Let's give it a quick test. 
still flies over the hill. <laughs> Let's try 125. But yeah, um, I also want to change the um, front of the station a bit. Never really uh, been a big fan of uh, how this station looks. So I'll just make the front a bit flatter. Uh, this tube, um, I think I'm just going to make it a half tube. Um, so I'll use the chain lift uh, hard light twister track here. That will make it look a lot nicer, I think. Um, for the block brakes, I think I'm going to use the speedy block brakes here. So uh, yeah, it's also a recent OpenRC2 development. So uh, that will make it so that the train still will have some speed here after passing over the block brakes. And uh, yeah, I think that will uh, look a little bit nicer. Now, something else which I'm not really fond of here is these uh, fences. Um, I think I'll just remove these white fences here, these white fence posts. And I'll just go with normal uh, railings here that I've used uh, all throughout. And then I'll just put some red posts uh, here in uh, the corners to, uh, to connect them. I think uh, that will actually look nicer and it will fill up some of the gaps that are in between these uh, fences. It's not really noticeable <laughs> unless you pay really attention, really uh, close attention, but it's just something that uh, I would really like to change. And other than that, I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, foliage and decoration uh, here in the middle. Alright, Stampede, now uh, it's also gotten a little bit upgraded, or polished, I should probably say. So yeah, launch speed has been lowered a bit, um, I think it uh, looks more reasonable now. Still quite fast, but uh, not uh, breakneck speeds. Though the negative g-force are still uh, a little bit on the high side. Let's, uh, let's uh, take it down another notch and uh, see uh, how that goes. But yeah, I added a little bit more decoration, uh, changed the front of the station. I think it uh, looks uh, a little bit nicer now. Alright, I think uh, this is a nicer speed. But yeah, I like the new uh, shape of the station. Uh, I also uh, actually forgot to give it speedy block brakes. <laughs> Let me quickly uh, do that now. So yeah, here's the block brakes and we just take the speed to 20 km per hour. I think that's alright. Oh yeah, um, also changed the bridge here to a wooden bridge. I think I like it better than uh, the metal that it used to have. And for the fences, um, yeah, I made it all these uh, uh, red railings, and I put uh, posts uh, between every fence, and that uh, fills also fills up the corners between these uh, fences. Yeah, I think I like this a little bit better. All right, there's a few other small things that uh, that I want to do in this park. And one of them is uh, for this ride, the Zoo Tours chairlift. Um, yeah, now of course there aren't too many guests in the park, but when there are a lot of guests, uh, well, they'll be queuing uh, for this ride and uh, this ride has uh, quite bad throughput, so the guests have to wait for this ride uh, a really long time. So uh, with uh, OpenRC2, we now no longer have a limit of 31 cars. So uh, I'm going to uh, give this ride, uh, I think, nine extra cars and I'll change the minimum wait time a little bit. And that should uh, increase the capacity of the ride. All right, it's a small thing, but uh, I think this uh, should make uh, this ride more satisfying for uh, the guests when they uh, come back to the park. All right, and with that done, uh, there's just one thing uh, remaining that I want to do in this episode. And that's uh, that I want to uh, make these animal enclosures here look a little bit nicer. I think uh, especially the foliage uh, on these islands looks uh, pretty uh, messy. Uh, I don't really like the way these enclosures look. And uh, 
changing them also gives me the opportunity to uh, add some more uh, entertainers to these islands. And of course, I'm going to name these after some of my patrons. Now, um, I think it will also be fun to have some, uh, to have it look like some guests are looking at this ride while passing by. So I'm going to make some invisible toilets uh, along this uh, these animal enclosures. So uh, when guests enter these uh, invisible toilets, they will be standing still over here, and then while they're doing their thing on the toilet, it will actually be looking like they're just watching the animals uh, in these enclosures. All right, time to get building. Alright, I think these uh, animal enclosures now look a lot more pleasant, uh, some more warm colors, some nicer foliage. Uh, I, don't th I think it doesn't look as messy as it did. Um, now here we see the panda enclosure. I uh, used some of these different bamboo plants. I previously used these, but I think these uh, look nicer. I believe these were from the Rollercoast Tycoon 1 uh, panda uh, theme. Maybe it was Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 even, I don't really remember. But yeah, it was a theme that you could uh, download. I think these uh, panda plants uh, work uh, work pretty well. These uh, bamboo plants, I mean. Now here's the, the uh, elephant enclosure, also used a bit more of this red sand. And here's the tiger enclosure. I think it also looks much nicer. And next to the path, uh, we have all these spots where guests uh, can enter an invisible toilet and then watch the animals in the enclosures. But, of course, we will only see that happen uh, once uh, I uh, let some guests into the park again. Okay, um, with these uh, animal enclosures uh, yeah, improved, uh, I think we can uh, add some extra animals uh, to them. And I will also immediately name them after some of my patrons. Alright, here you can see the 8 new patrons that were added to the park. Uh, thanks a lot for your support, um, it really gives me the motivation to keep making these videos. And yeah, if you also want to uh, support me, you can find a link to my Patreon uh, channel in the video description. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy your spot in the park. And when I've done a few more of these episodes, I will re-release uh, this park on my Discord server, so you can uh, check it out for yourself. Alright, um, I will now uh, let some more guests back into the park, and after that uh, we will go uh, do a quick tour through this uh, improved area. Alright, I've uh, let some more guests into the park. Now they do uh, have a habit of all heading for the same ride. Uh, probably uh, they're going for the rides that have the um, highest excitement uh, value. So you'll see a lot of guests uh, walking in the same direction. But yeah, uh, it is actually fun uh, watching all these guests uh, walk around here again. Now, uh, they are uh, they've only just entered the park, so um, they probably haven't really uh, bought that much uh, well, any drinks yet. So probably the, you won't actually see them use any of these uh, invisible toilets that I've seen. Actually, you can see one uh, doing using it here. So you could see, uh, yeah, when he was in here, it said uh, in watching the zoo animals. So I think that's uh, that's just a, a fun little trick. 
yeah, I'm uh, quite happy with how this uh, turned out. Uh, I think these uh, animal enclosures look a lot better like this. And of course, it's always a good excuse to uh, add some extra entertainers in the park. Of course, uh, something which I had to uh, account for in the original mega park was that there was a staff limit of 200 staff members. But uh, thankfully, uh, we no longer have that limit. So uh, that allows me to uh, hire some more uh, staff members. I actually also hired several more uh, handymen off camera. Uh, so yeah, uh, a lot of these handymen, uh, well, they're all assigned a patrol area. And yeah, even with uh, all the handymen that I had in the park, it was still quite tough to uh, uh, yeah make sure that the, there wasn't too much litter in an area. So in uh, some of the more problematic areas, uh, I added some handymen, and that uh, definitely helps. All right, um, yeah, let's do a quick recap of what I did in this episode. So uh, I improved this uh, Tricera Rush coaster, uh, changed the layout a little bit with these uh, zero zero elements, and I used the limelines track, uh, limelines coaster track for this ride. Um, changed the queue a bit and uh, modified this uh, turning table to make it look a little bit nicer and uh, I changed the transfer track location and here uh, I used these uh, magnetic fins for the for the brake track and of course also did some landscaping under the coaster added some flowers etc now uh, I changed uh, this coaster stampede I changed the launch speed uh, a little bit made it a bit lower I also uh, um, Change this bridge to give it a, a wooden flooring. I think it looks a lot nicer. And I can modify the station of this coaster. And um, I also changed this uh, go kart track. It now has 20 carts instead of 10. And it should wait uh, a lot. Uh, yeah, it should wait uh, a lot less. Uh, after the carts uh, have been filled because I changed the ride uh, back from lift to a uh, go-kart so that uh, Makes the behavior uh, normal again. So that's uh, that's a lot better. I uh, Moved the back piece of the station to over here. So over here you can see the go-kart slow down But that's also what uh, added what uh, enabled me to add more uh, go-karts to this ride Finally, um, I changed these animal enclosures made them look a little bit uh, nicer and I added some uh, animals to them all right uh, yeah that was all the building I'm going to be doing for this episode uh, if you liked watching me build please consider giving this video a like it would really help out my channel of course if you uh, want to see more of these videos you can always uh, subscribe uh, I will do a few more of these uh, Dirk Link Mega Park videos uh, very soon now, I think it will be fun to end this episode with a ride on uh, Tricera Rush and Stampede. Alright, hope you enjoyed watching me build, and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later! Thank you.